Hi there, Capricorn. Thank you for joining me for your weekly forecast for week commencing the 16th of January. Your communicational skills are going to be very acute this week. If there's something that you want to express to someone, and particularly someone who's very special to you, you can do so in a very enriching, imaginative and sensitive way. Now this could be someone that you're drawn to in a romantic context, but it may be that you want to write about something or even broadcast something if you're someone with an interest that really you are passionate about and you can get your ideas across in a way which other people can be hugely receptive to. This can be a very uplifting experience and by doing so also you can receive messages back in the same kind of way. Other people can be just as warm hearted towards you. With Mercury back in your sign and of course now travelling forwards, it is also forging a brilliant link to Neptune towards the end of this week. And this is going to bring even more ability for you to capture the moment as you see it, to crystallise your ideas in a very special way. Now, this self-expression is going to be even more boosted when on Friday the sun moves into the part of your scope which is going to reinforce your earthy credentials. It's going to help you to really give greater form to some of these ideas, to punch things across in a way that you are so clever at doing at the best of times, which means that your ideas take on a more tangible form. So it's not just about great concepts, you can also deliver on these and see these shaping up by the end of this week. However, there is a bit of a catch to this week, because you're going to be so sensitive, I feel, that if you are mixing with anyone who is not necessarily emanating such a good vibe, there could be the potential for you to soak this up like a sponge, and that can actually be rather overwhelming for you. And this is because your ruling planet, Saturn, is in a very difficult right angle with Mars. Mars is in an area which should reinvigorate you at a physical level, but you might not actually have a great deal of vitality this week. So I think if you can, do prioritise, and if you can immerse yourself in the more creative side of life, the arts, anything that boosts your imagination, or to do with music, poetry, these are the things that are really going to be very, very important to you. But in a more harsher way, do stay clear of anyone who tends to be a bit, a bit of a gossip, a little bit unkind, tends to uh, gain some kind of pleasure from almost doing people down. These kind of negative characters are not going to be so good for you this week because you're going to be able to embrace a much higher vibration. So try to rise above these kind of energies, steer clear of anyone that you know isn't so he healthy for you, and this can be a hugely rewarding and enriching time for you. It's been a real pleasure being with you. Thank you for joining me. Good luck and goodbye for now.